June 2009 roundup. A busy month for Samsung and Sony Ericsson, and the all-important new Apple iPhone was announced too. Apple A new iPhone is always news, and the Apple iPhone 3GS is just the third model in the range. It's faster and better specified than previous handsets, but it still carries a premium price tag. Although they all look slightly different from the back, from the front, they're almost identical, which is good news for owners of older iPhones. Samsung At the top end of the range, the Samsung M8910 Pixon 12 will probably be the first 12 megapixel camera phone to market. Along this is another high-end touchscreen, the Windows-based Samsung Omnia 2 i8000. The Samsung Jet S8000 is another high-end smartphone, said to be the fastest touchscreen phone on the market. Then there's the Samsung Omnia Pro B7610, which has a slide-out QWERTY keyboard to the touchscreen mix. And then there's yet another touchscreen phone with the inexpensive Samsung Omnia Lite B7300. Thankfully, there's a bit of variety this month with a BlackBerry-style Samsung Omnia Pro B7320 and finally the solar-powered Samsung Crest Solar E1107 targets an utterly different market. Nokia Nokia usually have something to show and this month saw three very different phones. The Nokia E72 is another BlackBerry-style messaging device. The Nokia 5530 Express Music is a value for money touchscreen media device and finally the Nokia 3710 Fold is a very inexpensive but capable clamshell phone. Sony Ericsson Sony Ericsson went a bit green this month. The mid-range Sony Ericsson 90 and the Cybershop branded Sony Ericsson C901 Greenheart promise to be kinder to the environment than most phones. Then. There's the Sony Ericsson T715 slider, a useful but dull mid-range phone. Other manufacturers The HTC Hero could be considered to be the first second-generation Android handset, and it certainly looks a bit different from other touchscreen phones. Finally, LG showed off the Windows Mobile LG GM730, which also features a touchscreen. Perhaps next month we'll see some non-touchscreen phones?